So hey everyone and welcome to the channel. As always, thanks for stopping by and hanging out for a few. My name is Rich Charpentier and I'm the channel host. If this is your first time to the channel and you enjoy this video, head on down to the bottom here and click on that like and subscribe. So the channel has been growing. It's growing slowly. We do a lot of um, very niche ideas about uh, drone flight and uh, drone progressions and building a drone business. Uh, this channel also does some mobile tech occasionally, and the channel used to do a lot of uh, travel-related stuff with an Airstream. So some of that will be coming back in the near future, I'm sure, because I've got some client projects later this year uh, that are going to require the Airstream come along with me. So that'll be fun. Now, on the last video, I talked about the possibility of a new client and said, cross your fingers for me. And... Um, it worked out very well. So yesterday I went and met with uh, my newest client for a second time to take a look at a property that um, he's going to be doing some interesting development on. So there's already a home located there. It's uh, over 40 acres and they're going to be setting up um, some very unique things for their horses. So this is in the Prescott area. I'm not going to say any more than that. Um, I do respect the privacy of my clients. So when we sat down yesterday and talked about what we're going to be doing, I had mentioned to the client that I'd like to use um, this particular project as another teaching tool for both YouTube and probably another Udemy, um, Udemy.com class. So the client was very agreeable to it. Uh, he thought it was a really cool idea. And um, so we sat down and hashed out uh, a project that's going to take place over the next couple of months. So this isn't going to be a quickie project. This is going to be some development over time. And in the end, we're going to see something really unique that I don't think you've probably ever seen on any construction progression or construction time-lapse drone videos. So I'm super excited about it. I was really glad to get the opportunity to do this job um, because this is going to go together with the rest of the AZ drone portfolio in, in such a cool way. So stay tuned to the channel and like i said if you do the subscribe you'll be able to um, keep up to date with what's happening so while i was out on location yesterday with the client i decided i said hey would you mind if i um do a little testing and do a little uh, uh, initial flight to get a few ideas so while we were together yesterday um, i had actually marked out the flight path in litchi and in ground station pro um, use, utilizing the Yavapai County tax map so that I could get the corners as close as possible. And so what I did yesterday was um, two parts. So Ground Station Pro was our first flight, and I wanted to just get an overall um, two-dimensional model of the property to get a look at where our priority areas are going to be, um, where the changes in the terrain are going to be, and where some new facilities are going to be located on the property. So a new barn for the horses, um, several areas for them to uh, roam and wander, and um, then also a display area that's even going to have a viewing stand. So we did a flight utilizing Ground Station Pro. I did this as a um, 2D only model, so I didn't do a full crosshatch. So I did a north-south flight with that. And we'll be talking about the setups that I'm using with Ground Station Pro um, in upcoming episodes and also why I chose to use Ground Station Pro at this location. I'll give you one hint. Um, I've got no data out there. The cell phone's not working out there. So some of the pre-planning has to happen somewhere where I do have network connectivity. And so I decided Ground Station Pro is going to be the tool um, for doing those 2D ortho maps. And then secondly, I also did another flight with Litchi, and once again, uh, when I do flight paths with Litchi for video and still photography, I can pop those GPS waypoints in there. I can actually pop in GPS coordinates for the different corners and locations of the lot lines. So we got to go outside, broke out the uh, iPad Mini 4, and the client got to watch right along with me as we were doing the flight. He was pretty wowed and amazed just looking on the iPad screen, he was commenting on how sharp the video quality and the imaging coming back was. So it's always fun to actually show a client, you know, what they can expect and what they're going to see. So um, we did those couple of flights. I had that in the back of my head for our meeting. I said, you know, provided that it goes the right way and they're interested in working with us, 
um, I would like to do a little demo work to show them what they can expect. So after I got the flights done and did the hour drive uh, back, because um, this location is absolutely in the middle of nowhere, um, I got right to offloading because I wanted to get a look at, um, at what the terrain was going to be like, and also whether or not I was satisfied with that initial setup of Ground Station Pro, because I did that in the office. I didn't do that in the field. What I came away with after doing this test flight, and I always like to do test flights for clients first, um, whether or not they're with me, I like to get an initial idea and see if I need to change some of my strategies. So I feel like the flight over the property was a little too high. Um, I was flying at 350 feet above ground level from my launch point. And I think we're going to ratchet that down to either probably 275 to 300. And I'm going to be doing another experiment later in the week to see if I'm a little more satisfied. I also want to adjust the, um, the speed of the capture that Ground Station Pro is doing. I feel like maybe the flight was a little too fast. Now, the longer I'm up there, the more batteries I'm going to need to use, of course. Uh, and for the first test, I set it up so that I was only using one battery. I think the reality of this project is going to be for the orthos. Um, I will be probably using two batteries, slowing it down, and bringing it a little closer to the ground because I really want some extreme detail on the changes that are happening on the property. Now, after all that flight, we also did the video flight. Um, and if you're looking on screen here with me right now, I'm just looking over at my air data. So this was November 4th, 2019. Flight was at uh, 1021 AM. And as I've said on other videos here, absolutely a huge fan of air data. Uh, it's, uh, it's one of the many tools that I use. So what you're looking at here is actually the flight path. We just followed the property lines and this is the flight path of the drone. And we actually captured some nice video and you're seeing the video on this as well. Um, I haven't really super color corrected or anything yet because this is more for my reference. So I spend some time up front planning these things before I ever start delivering um, the final products to the clients. So I need to be satisfied with it because I know they'll be satisfied with it because I'm very nitpicky about the final results. So there's that first flight path, second flight path. Here we go. So this is the Ground Station Pro flight path. And you can see that it did its little um, grid pattern here. And we were only shooting for a two-dimensional model anyways, so I didn't do a crosshatch. It might come up at some point while doing this project that I actually do a full cross pattern and really see about doing a uh, detailed 3D model for this property just for my own interest. It's not something that's necessary for the client. Um, it's not something they're looking for. But if I've got some extra batteries on hand for one of the flights, I think I might go for it. So you get an idea of what the location looks like here. So this is over 40 acres of property. And um, there is actually a home somewhere in here. Once again, uh, I'm not giving any further details or locations or GPS coordinates. Um, I always want to be respectful of the client's uh, privacy. And I ask that you do too. So don't go trying to figure out what map and, and where in Arizona this is. Um, you know, this is a private client uh, who's doing something on their own property, which is, is going to be pretty amazing. And we're, we're going to show you through that um, through to the end, but no addresses, no phone numbers, no names. All right. So, and then I had one more strange flight path because uh, the client actually had asked if we could do a quick orbit around because uh, his wife wanted to see something on video. So we did an orbit and you can see the orbit's a little messy. That's because I was actually adjusting the orbit while flying. Yes, that's a feature of Litchie. So what you can expect in, um, in the series coming up here in the class, if I do this on Udemy again, is we're going to be talking a lot about the Ground Station Pro setup, what the Ground Station Pro setup is used for, which is developing that two-dimensional model. Um, we're going to talk more about Litchi, and that goes hand-in-hand -hand with the current course that I have at Udemy on Litchi and using uh, Litchi's waypoint missions to really develop consistent time lapses for construction progression and for other progression as well. Um, so there's going to be a lot of Litchi Waypoint talk. There's going to be a lot of Ground Station Pro setup. 
um, and then processing afterward. So in the end, what you're seeing up on screen now, um, I did get to generate a very low res model. Um, I was trying to do it a little higher resolution, but my iMac told me how many hours it was going to take. And I was definitely being impatient yesterday because I just wanted to get more of a look at the lay of the land and, um, and where our waypoints are going to be for documenting the changes that are going to happen on this property. So Litchi is going to play a huge role in this. Ground Station Pro, we're going to use twice. We're going to use it at the beginning of the project before ground is broken. And then we're going to use it at the end of the project to show the final property and the major changes that have happened on that property. So also included in here, you have seen or you're going to see, depending on where I put it in the video, um, a two-dimensional geotiff uh, of the property area, and you'll be able to make out the homes. They're, they're a little small. Um, when you zoom it in on the actual geotiff, I, I could see the problems with the paint job on the top of my truck. Um, so, so these TIFF files get huge. And then when I display them here in NVIDIA, I do shrink them down because we're, we're not zooming all the way in while we're talking about this. So the project has begun. We reached an agreement yesterday and we've already got a deposit for the services. And so we're going to be going out at least once a month um, to fly the property. Uh, within the next couple of weeks, we're going to do the first flight before ground is broken, where we'll be doing the ortho mosaic and we'll be finalizing our flight paths so that will definitely be part of a video series. So you will see chunks of this here. If I decide to put this up on Udemy, you're still going to see blocks of this here where you can cobble the rest together. Um, if I choose not to use Udemy for it and I'm just posting it up here, then um, you'll just be happy to enjoy it and follow along with it. So and for the well wishes that I got from folks yesterday for getting the project, thank you very much. Uh, the good thoughts helped. And I got to say, the client was just absolutely thrilled to pieces. By the way, before I wrap this up, a couple things for your drone business. Always be on time or be ahead of schedule. Um, I've gotten several comments from this particular client since we've met a couple times that so far I'm the uh, most consistent vendor that he has when it comes to showing up when you're supposed to show up. Um, that's just being polite. Don't make people wait on you. Uh, and you can be a little early. Most folks don't mind that. Also, you know, make sure that you walk the clients through what you're doing because uh, what you're planning may not be what they're looking for. So we actually had a good sit down, pulled up the iPad, took a look at our flight pass and talked about what we would be doing. Um, so as much information as possible that's what you need to give to your client. Some people would say, well, they're going to go off and shop some other business and say, well, this is what Rich proposed to me. Can you do it for less? I'm not really afraid of that. I know the quality of the work that we do, and I know that it shows through for clients. Um, one final thought, your website development is incredibly important to your small business, be it a drone business or any other business. Um, the client pointed out to me several times in our two meetings, that uh, the AZ Drone website really helped sell him on working with us. We do have other competitors in the area and they do a great job. I've seen some fantastic stuff from some other drone pilots in the area. But um, some of them, their presentation fails a little bit on their websites. They're not showing off their own work. Um, they're actually, one of them is actually using stock photography from locations that they haven't done. Um, I know that because you can track down stock photography. So. Present what you really do. If you don't have a lot of content, don't, don't put filler in there from somebody else's work, um, other people's stock photography work. Put your work forward. Put your work out there. And if you don't have enough stuff to populate your website to demonstrate what you're doing, you need to get out there and do some flights for yourself so that you can share your modeling and your photography and your video skills with potential clients. They'd rather see what it is you actually do. So on time, have good conversations and meaningful conversations with your clients. And when you have the spare time, work on your online presence, YouTube, your website, Twitter, whatever your favorite social media platforms are, leverage them because they're going to bring you new customers. The new customers that I've had this year um, have almost, with the exception of one person, uh, all found me through our website, all took a look at, um, at what I've got up on the site 
and made their decisions based on the kind of information I'm presenting. The one other client that I got this year was actually a referral um, from another construction professional in the area um, who appreciated the work that we do as well and we've interacted before. So in the end, one referral and then a bunch of website referrals. So really focus on your online marketing and your information and your search engine optimization so that you're coming up on that front page when people are searching in your area. All right, everybody, I'm out of here because now I got to go back. We've done the whole green screen thing and we're sitting here talking. Now I got to go pick through all the video from yesterday and, um, and take a look at the ortho to put all the background stuff together that you've been watching while we've been doing this. But um, I did the video and uh, our conversation first. So now I get to go back and backfill with the images, video, and the ortho. So putting these together, uh, putting these things together is extremely time consuming. <laughs> so, so I really do hope you enjoy this stuff. I, I put a lot of time into it, even if I don't have the flashiest intros. Um, a lot of time does go into these and a lot of time is spent thinking about what it is I want to share with you and show you how to do. So hope you're enjoying it. Have an awesome rest of the week, everybody. And uh, we'll see you again real soon. Super excited about this project. You should be too, because this is going to be a unique one. Like I said, I haven't seen anything like it on the internet yet. So it's going to be cool.